How are you? Good, how are you? I am wonderful. Ah, uh, so it must be fall if we are talking about mid winter's My, dram. Tonight's dram, yeah. Yeah, yeah so uh, hey, whiskey. American Whiskey Experience. How's it going? Pete, James, uh, whiskey. Whiskey, yeah. So uh, this is uh, a High West product um, out of the parks of Utah. Yep. It's a, it's a mid winter night's dram. It's Act 10, Scene 2, which is a blend of the, uh, the uh, flagship Rendezvous Rye. Right. Uh, that is finished in both a ruby and tawny port cast. Uh, there's no age statement on this one. No. Uh, a, uh, the proof on this is 98.6, so ABV is 49.3. Yep. Uh, and this is one that is pretty highly sought after. Uh, it is. MSRP on this one is, uh, was it in the 90s? Is what it was So, I mean, is. yeah, I mean. And then people. I, I paid eighty, ninety dollars for the other acts, and this this year it went so up to one hundred and fifty. Yeah, is what we paid one forty nine nine nine. Usually uh, hovers a little under hundred. Yeah, past, past. hundred's a good 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 <clears throat> price. Yeah, uh, for some reason it went up. There could be multiple reasons. It could be cost for bottling, packaging, whatever the case may be. Yeah, uh, I don't know, but one hundred and fifty dollars. It's got a lot. It's a lot of money. It's a lot. Um, so and it's not easy to find. It's it's not. And when you do find it, it's usually the the store owners only have one to three bottles tops, and that's it for the year. Yeah. Um, luckily, I happened to walk into a store in East Haven, Connecticut, yeah. uh, over on Co Avenue there, um, and uh, saw two of them in the case. You did. You did. <laughs> I said, I'll, I'll take both of them. Right. So we have two bottles of this, so that's, that's pretty bad. exciting. So, uh, we opened this on November 2nd. So it's been for a few weeks. So uh, Somebody somebody label their bottles. Someone label their bottles. Right, I'm, right. I'm trying, Pete. I'm did, trying my best. It. There you go. And you mentioned that this is a blend of the... Rendezvous. Rendezvous, yep. which is the, the rendezvous here, which we've done before. Yep. I don't know if we reviewed this or not. I know we did it as a group with... Um, with Two Finger. Two Finger yeah. uh, over a year ago. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two years ago, maybe. Yeah. Um, but this is, this is the Rendezvous Rye. So this is basically this, but then finished in Tony and Ruby Port Cast. Two Port Cast, yeah. So a little bit different flavors and stuff like that, and just color wise too. I mean, it's a lot, a lot darker. darker, a lot darker. So uh, that's pretty neat. Um, yeah. and, and look at this one, ten twenty. This was okay. Oh. <laughs> this one's marked as well. Wow, that's twice now. That's two for two. That might be a record. Yes, yeah, might be a record. All right, so let's talk about what we got here. All right. Uh, again, um, Act Ten, Scene Two. I yeah, this one is. Yep, yeah. Act, Act 10, 10, Scene, scene two. two. So yeah, again, every every act uh, is a different uh, barrel finish yes. in, in, a, in a winery. Yeah. Um, and and these were from the wineries were from Portugal. These barrels. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, you might have said that or not. I don't recall. I don't know if I did. Well, I, I think um, for me, I, mean, I, I definitely get the rye spice base. And they were almost coming off there, uh, but something that kind of stood out for me is that we had a little sip of this earlier. Yeah. And my initial reaction was I got like a, uh, um, like a ripe dark fruit, like almost like fig or like um, dark fruit. Yeah. Like uh, it was like fig. It was like fig prune. Yeah, prunes. Uh, there was some sweetness on the nose for sure. There's tons of sweetness on there. There's some of that port wine smell to it as well that musty, musty a little bit yeah uh, i also get that sweetness that that plum sweetness is like um cooked plums or stewed like stew plums yeah and something and that effect. yeah um okay. yeah it, yeah you know like yeah exactly yeah but there's that that base layer of, of rye spice is really kind of like the, that's right there yeah you know, that's that that solid layer that's there yeah you know? uh, uh, color is nice it's it's got a nice dark color yeah it is dark um almost like a mahogany yeah um, there you go. I, I don't know, something like that, I guess. It's got some legs on it, too. Not bad. Um, we're going to give it a really good spin to see. Oh, an extra spin. So you, well, like, you dissect it, basically. It, so when you, when it's finished in two different types of barrels. It's like a centrifuge. If, I see. If you talk about it a little bit and you spin it as you're talking, which I am. You are spinning. It will actually break down the percentage of... Oh. Which oh, barrel you get, you get Ruby yeah. on one side, Tony. Okay, exactly. I see how so, it goes. All right. The way, the way it sits. Now you see it's a little different than yours. It is different. Yeah. It is. So, it is. I. Well, not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste mine. <laughs> see, if it, see if it makes a difference. Cheers. That's a lot of bullshit I just did, huh? Total bullshit. All right, good. See now, the nose 
and the palate to me are different. I would absolutely agree. Um, uh, it might be my spinning too that helps. It isn't your spinning. No. All right. Um, but uh, it, it yeah. is different. Um, Surprisingly different for me, anyway. Yeah. Um, I um, to be honest with you, I, the last few pours mm. I've had of Bay Winter Night Stram um, has always brought a um, a really rich um, sweetness, um, kind of can you know candied taste to it yeah uh, that's sticks in the back of my brain this is actually very very um dry and tannic um you think it's dry it, it is for me it is it's it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's very tannic okay um, there's some, some bitterness to it um, <clears throat> um it, 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 it dominates the palate for me like i don't i all the mm. all the like sweet notes that i picked up in the aroma coming off of it i was hoping would be in the palate and right now they're not for me. See, I, I think, and I, I tried this a couple of times before you did, mm -hmm. and I it was dry in the beginning, and it was sweeter, and it was more, it was more tannins on it. Um, it's not, but it's not dry to me at all. I think it's very flavorful. I think it's 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 oily on the palate. Um, um, like okay, because I can see oily kind of as. as the mouthfeel? Yeah. Um, it, it hold the weight, I mean. I, I, I don't want to say oily where it sticks around like that, but there, there's some weight to it. Because oily, okay. actually, now I think about it, is, is wrong. Because it's, it's, it's I, not I, dry, talking, but it's not oily. When I'm talking dry, I'm talking more about flavor. Yeah. Um, you know, dry old oak, um, leathery, um, tannic. Leathery is Tan good. Tannic. Yep. Um, those are very prominent for me. Um, there's a touch of spice, not a lot. Um, it's very balanced. Um, I, I get a little bit of the... A little bit of apple, apple wood, um, okay. a little bit of oak. Okay, I mean, um, for me, for me again, again, I think it's uh, it's the overwhelming tannic aspect for me kind of takes away from what I expected or what I wanted. Um, you know, for you know, and and the finish for me is very short. The finish is, I mean, it, it is short. Know, it's short. It stops. Yeah. I mean, like I, I have a sip. Within a short time, it's it's gone. Yeah, it's more on the palate in the beginning, and mm. then it ends. There's a little bit of warmth at the end, a little bit, and it does stick around a little bit, you know, from that ride. But um, it's yeah. it's totally different than than last year for sure. And I thought last year's was really good, I, I, but I, I thought it was a little stronger last year. I think there was a little more kick to it. Uh, okay. it stuck around a little more. This I think is a lot easier to drink. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, um, I am a little disappointed that there's not more depth in the palate for the price point it is and for how highly touted it is. Yeah. Um, I definitely am disappointed with, with what it brings to the table. Um, mm. you know, maybe this, the more I sip on this, the more it would change a little bit for me. Uh, but again, that leather, that tannins, those are really very prominent in the palate for me. Um, that I get a little bit of leather. I'm getting, I'm getting some candied coated like when i say candy coated like that uh like that gummy kind of thing or <sighs> oh, like candy shell like candy shell or or like uh sugar coated uh like uh walnuts or pecans somewhere okay. around there yeah uh, some kind of candy coated uh nut of some sort um I, my biggest concern was the price point yeah I mean, for one hundred and fifty dollars, I wanted to be wowed, and usually you're not when you start paying those higher prices for just because it just. When these were at about a hundred ninety ninety to a hundred over the past few years, I thought they were really good. Um, I thought they brought a lot to the table. Um, yeah, I thought there was a lot of out. a lot of depth there. I mean, to me, it's it's so it's, it's so dominant for and I'm good for right now. I said a little in the glass. All right, go ahead. See that, folks? Go ahead. Yeah, you know, I gotta say, I don't love it. I mean, I initially, I don't love it. So you don't want to buy the other bottle? No, I don't. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, um, I don't know. I think it's gonna grow on you a little bit. I think you're gonna enjoy this a little bit more as, might, as, you, might, as um, you drink and pour again. Like I said, it's it's been open for a few weeks, so mm -hmm. I, you know, it, so you can't say it didn't open up at all. No, it's different than when it originally. Okay. Yeah, I didn't really care for it that much the first time, and I kept on drinking it to. 
kind of figure out if I liked it or not, uh, pouring it. In, in the beginning, it was it was very sweet, and it was it, I almost felt like I was drinking like a white wine at, at certain points, um, so I didn't like it. But now it changed. There there's some sweetness there, but it's balanced. I think it's I think it's very balanced and leveled. Uh, I, I get a medium weight in the palate, but the finish is kind of still quick it's and short. And, and, and short. Um, I, I'm left with a very dry um, dry oak. Um, wow! Finished. See, I'm not getting dry oak. Yeah, it's very, 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 yeah, very tannic. Uh, you know, if I were to try to try to pull out a sweeter flavor, yeah, mid palate, it's almost like a um, like a peach that's not ripe yet. Wow! I'll say I, that's the opposite for me. Like on the I'm front getting, end of my palate, everything's dark fruit for me on this one. Really? Yeah, it's 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 dark fruit on this for me. I almost I don't get that richness. I don't get that sweet. That wow. Yeah, it's again, it's like it's very dominant with the with the tannins, very dominant with the dry oak. Um, huh. You know, it's definitely got a little bit of spice to it. Um, you know, there's a a, a a little bit of that rye garden type flavors, but yeah, I'm not getting tons of like you know normally you get like a lot of vanilla maybe or mm -hmm. caramel. I'm not caramel. I'm not getting any of that that much. Slightly. Maybe a little bit of vanilla, but not much. Uh, and if it's if it's vanilla, it's more a vanilla bean, uh, but not like a, a dried out vanilla bean or anything like that. Like fresh. I don't know if you ever. I, you know, I remember one time getting like fresh vanilla beans for something in a cooking class at school or something like that. Okay. Um, and that's yeah. kind of brought me back to that. But not I mean, like a dried powder. Vanilla. For me, the nose is the best part of this whiskey, by far. Um. Like, See, I, I think the I, I like the palette on this. Do you? Mm -hmm. It's probably growing on you. I mean, I, again, it's just um, I think it's very easy to drink. Oh yeah, I'm not saying it's not easy to drink. I, it's I, got I, some flavor. I, I agree with you. I, I just think it's uh, for me for my palate. I think it's just too um, too tannic. Too, yeah. Too many bitters there. Um, too dry. Too much dry bitters. oak. Yeah, it's yeah, not it's, bitter at all for me. It's like that old dry oak. It's like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it, it's very it's not, for me. It's, it's very your, yeah. it's very prominent in my palate. I just can't get it out of there. You know. I'd be interesting for you to try this in a week from now or so and, yeah. and see what you think. Um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you home with a sample. You're there gonna you go. do some homework. Hmm. Uh, I think you're. I, I honestly think it's gonna change for you because it did change for me. Because again, I wasn't sold. Although what I didn't like. In it when I first poured it, right. it's different than what you don't like now. So we are get we were two different pages, which okay. is fine, which I think is awesome. So, uh, but when you compare this to previous acts of the same whiskey, yeah, uh, I think it's very different. One hundred percent. Okay. The, so the, the other, I'm going off with so the last so, three. So, uh, so, the, so there's ten of them. I only had uh, so, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, and they're not always nine. they're not always a rye. Some are, are bourbon are bourbon finished. I can't remember. If I'm that's, pretty sure yeah. that's the case. The uh, other rise, I think, were very different. Yeah, well, I think also too, as the acts go up in years or acting, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. Um, I think the and I could be wrong, but I think the rise are getting a little younger, maybe too. Okay. So I think like acts well, one to probably, so I bet you like one to like five or one to six was probably amazing because that's from some old stuff. So I do like believe that this is all source MGP, MGP source. It might be. It might be um, source I'm as well. Sure. So that's the problem too. A lot of stuff was sourced now. A lot of stuff is younger now. So yeah. we are getting a lot of that three to five year, three to six year type. Which I don't always hate. Which I don't like. Yeah, but but I bet you like I, I hear people talking about like you know Midwinter Dram uh, one to five is amazing because it was the older stuff that they were getting and that it was aged more. I'm maybe trying, I'm trying to remember the earlier so, stuff I've had from them. So. I like it. I don't like the price point. Yeah. I mean, if this was available again and I could find it easily at one fifty, I would balk at it a hundred percent. At a hundred dollars, I'd keep a one. I would one bottle. I'm done. Eighty dollars. I'm, I'm buying it all the time. It's a nice looking bottle. It's popular. It is. Um, it is. But it's it's a. Uh, and honestly, that for me right yeah. now, those are the redeeming tra traits I, I have for it. Yeah. Um, I think this. I think this is actually. I think it's, it's it's different than the last couple of years, yeah. Uh, but it's it's. I I think it's better than I thought it would be. 
You think it was better than last year? In a different Yes, no, different way. I do because last year was I like last year's, but it was a little stronger. It was a little bit more of a kick to it. It was okay. a little bit more. I, I think this has more flavor, honestly, than mm -hmm. last year. And I did like last year's. Now, again, the problem here for me though is is that price point. Yeah. So I can understand not enjoying it because of the price point. Unfortunately, well, I'm, I'm, it gets in your I'm, mind. And I'm even like, putting oh, price aside on this. Yeah. For me. What I'm tasting is not something I, 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 yeah. I love, you know? Interesting. But, cool, I'm glad I tried it. Yeah, I'm glad you did, and uh, I'm going to change your mind on it. Keep working on that. Again, you're going to go home with some samples, and uh, I'm going to sell you the other bottles. So I can, <laughs> all right, so all I right. Can, <laughs> so you recoup. So I can recoup, recoup some of my, <laughs> so I my four bottles of, of Wild Vicky Rare Breed. Yeah. All right, guys, hey, and ladies and gentlemen, dogs, cats, and yep. creatures, whatever you call yourselves, yeah. whatever you identify, uh, as, identify as, and we appreciate everybody. <laughs> Thanks uh, for tuning in. Like, right. subscribe, yeah. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. American Whiskey Experience. <laughs> have, have fun with your whiskey.